Hey YouTube, Hillman here. I uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, real nice hot day here today. But uh, we had like four days of rain and uh, now it's like humid. So anyway, uh, first of all I want to apologize for not putting those uh, motorcycle ride videos up. Uh, I had those and was editing those and I downloaded them to a USB drive, to a flash drive. And uh, I can't find the F, I can't find the flash drive. I don't know what I did with it. I put it down, got distracted, which is easy to do when you can't remember like I can. And uh, <clears throat> I don't know where it went. Lost it. So I'm going to reshoot those videos and leave them on my hard drive and do <clears throat> on my desktop, and then maybe I won't lose them. But what this video is going to be is uh, I got a question from uh, a guy that sent me a PM a subscriber and uh, he wanted to know what I used for uh, storing my cigars in and uh, I am a cheapskate oh hold on and uh, I like to get out cheap so uh, my cigars I spend the money on but uh, storage, you can buy like some really expensive humidors, you know, a wine door. Uh, but I am a tupper door and a cooler door kind of guy. So what I have inside in the closet, I have a walk-in closet. And inside that closet, I have a 120 quart uh, Coleman cooler, and uh, I keep boxes of cigars in there, and I keep heartfelt beads. I use about three quarters of a pound. Uh, inside of that and uh, with a hydrometer that I calibrate I'll calibrate all my hydrometers about once a month and uh, I try to keep my temperatures in that closet it's in the center of the house so it stays between 70 74 degrees in there we usually keep the house about 73 74 and so uh, I just set that lid on that I check that hydrometer I check my beads once a month and uh, heartfelt beads for a coolador is awesome you can't beat it okay now then uh, I have here a little brick house Robusto and uh, so I'll just cover a couple of little things that I really like this is my personal my personal preference my opinion if you don't like it I don't care but this is the way that I do it. this is my favorite cutter this is a Cuban crafters uh, perfect cutter. This little bad boy is like $12 off their website, $14. This thing has a lifetime warranty. This one here is about four years old, I believe, and it still cuts like a dream. Uh, these little brick houses are pretty good. You can get them. I think these are JR cigars. I love these. Uh, it's a great little smoke. Mm, nice uh, barnyard aroma. Uh, medium body uh, won't kick in the Botox whenever you smoke one of these so this is actually I like these in the morning uh, maybe after a little bit of breakfast with these and like in the evening I like something a little heavier uh, said like a diesel uh, unholy cocktail you know I have a wide variety of cigars and and I try to take as good a care of them as I can so uh, just take this for what it's worth. Uh, the thing I like about this cutter the most is you can see that it has a hole in the back. It has a backing plate. You can put torpedoes in there. This thing will take up to 60 ring gauge cigars, but that's about, that's pushing it. I mean, you gotta kind of put it in there. Get this little boy, mm, nice and sweet. Okay, just set this thing up against the backing plate. Hold it straight. Quick snip. Get out of there. There we go. Just like that. Nice little even cut. Okay, lighters. If I'm not using a match, which today it's a little bit windy, but this is my lighter of choice. This is a $3.95 Ronson. This lighter is about eight years old, and I purge it when it starts to get empty. I purge it. And I only use triple filtered butane. Don't use anything less. 
or you're going to have a clogged up mess, burn issues, adjustment issues. This little dude right here is a torch lighter. Probably can't see it, but this thing just keeps going and going and going. You can buy these all day long for, I think they're like, I don't know, four or five bucks. Walmart, Walgreens, you name it. Okay. Get this lit up here. So I hope everybody's doing good. I apologize for not putting up a video, but uh, I try to get, try to put up at least one a month, but I haven't done it in a while. So I think my last one was about a month ago, so I wanted to get something up. Looking pretty good. Voila. Okay. And nice and mild. <clears throat> nice and mild. Uh, you can get these things really cheap, and they are really super good. The Maduro version I like a lot better. I'm a Maduro kind of guy. I'm probably already up to about seven minutes now. Cut the chit chat. Let's get on to it. Okay. For minimal storage, this works well for me. This is what I do. Take it at face value. These are Bovita packs. These are two-way humidity. You can see that this one here is at 65%. That's where I keep mine. These things are freaking awesome. Uh, in a good tight seal, I can get these to last about three months. Uh, you can buy them from Famous Smokes. You can buy them all over the place. They're like about five bucks a piece, I'm gonna say. Uh, you can buy them in bulk, but uh, I don't use them enough. I mean, I don't use plenty of them to really merit the cost of buying them in bulk, which actually will probably come out a little more cost effective. But uh, these things are great. You can uh, take these. Got one in this little cigar jar here. This is just a little Tupperware sealed jar. Throw a Bovita pack in there. Throw your cigars in there. And I put this little piece of paper in here. I like to keep them separated just a little bit. Just so that this, this Bovita pack is not sitting right on top of them. I've measured these over and over and over for years. And these things within 1 or 2% are absolutely accurate. Uh, they take in and put out humidity as they need to. Uh, sometimes some packs will last a little bit longer than that. But say 3 months on average. Okay. Now what you can also use is you want a container that is airtight. Muy importante. Okay, you got these little uh, hefty, these lids still on, they lock, these are awesome, you can use these, you can see you could use this for a travel pack, throw your cigars in there, throw a Bovita pack in there, it's your preferred humidity, you're gone, you're on your way, okay. These are kind of light on the smoke, but... Uh, Got pretty good flavor. Okay, here is what I like to use. This Bohemoth, let me hold it up there. I have a couple of these in two and a half gallon. This is the one and a half gallon version. Uh, this thing seals like good, really good. These are like $16 at Walmart. Don't quote me on that. Individual stores, the prices may vary. And you can get these in the two and a half gallon, which are awesome. These stack, they're nice and tight. Rinse it out. Uh, throw in a couple of Bevita packs and uh, you are good to go with a hygrometer if you want to. You can check your humidity, it makes it awesome. Uh, some people put cedar in theirs, I do. I like it, it helps maintain the humidity, especially whenever you get down, you want to pack as much cigars as you can into a space because that helps hold the humidity better but uh, Spanish cedar helps work you know helps regulate the humidity a lot I like it uh, you can see this massive sack Let's see if I can open this up so if you can see in here Let's pull out a lot of this you see all that I went down to my local tobacco shop and I said hey do you have any spare cedar sheets 
he handed me this bag and I've used probably a quarter of it and that was like four years ago too much so you can put the Spanish what I do is is I put the Spanish cedar in the bottom I'll use this small one this line the bottom you can put it on the sides if you prefer I find the bottom is fine uh, stack my cigars in there I put the Bovita packs. I like to use on these uh, large ones like this. I like to use uh, two Bovita packs, and in the uh, two and a half gallons, I like to use four. And all it does is it helps the Bovita packs regulate a lot better. Uh, the more you put in there, and you know you you can go overkill. So let's you know don't do that. But uh, <clears throat> and then uh, on the one and a half gallons, I like to use two, and uh, just check. You know, throw one of these. I have a hygrometer I'll throw in there just to keep an eye on the humidity. Uh, the beauty of these is, like these, you can just set you up one uh, for singles and, uh, and or some that you get that may not be uh, have cellophane on them. You can throw them in one of these, uh, put it on top of your cooler. Uh, I would recommend that you do not store, if you cannot get your house below 80 degrees, please do not try to store cigars. Uh, 75 is the max. Uh, I've run some cigars when our air conditioner broke and before I had really central air I run a lot of cigars but uh, hopefully this will help you I kind of ran through it fast but I didn't want this video to run too long if you have any questions uh, just you know just give me a PM uh, I hope everybody has a great weekend I hope this comes out all right because I feel like keep for you know you make something you Feel like you're forgetting something. I think I'm forgetting something. Maybe not. But anyway, have a great weekend, a great week. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, try to get up a video sooner than once a month. That's pathetic. But anyway, until we share another stick together, you two, peace.